Why did no country dare to accept the 40 billion yuan project? China took over and faced various difficulties and shocked the world after completion. What kind of road is it that requires such a high cost? How did such a sky-high project be acquired by China? How has this highway been in the past 10 years? Let's take a closer look in this video. Algeria is the largest country in Africa and serves as an important traffic artery connecting Africa and Europe. Because of its special geographical location, its development is much better than most countries in Africa. Although the economic development trend is good until the 21st century, there is no decent expressway in the country, so they started to build expressways. The full name of this highway is the Algerian Highway, which is mainly composed of East to West Expressway and North to South Expressway. Among them, the East to West Expressway runs through 24 provinces and regions in Algeria, with a total length of 1,216 kilometers. It is an economic artery running through the whole country of Algeria. As an epoch-making major project, this highway undertakes the domestic transportation tasks in Algeria, and the economic benefits brought by it after its completion are immeasurable. The project plans to invest tens of billions of dollars, which has attracted the attention of many foreign construction companies. The Atlas Mountains and the Mediterranean Sea have created Algeria's unique and beautiful scenery, but also because of the complex topography and landform environment, the construction of roads has become extremely difficult. Mountains, hills, wetlands, and swamps are all-encompassing. The high temperature in the dry season is just a trivial matter. Once the long rainstorm season enters, it is not impossible for the entire construction site to become a lake. Rock sections, compressible sections, etc. have brought many difficulties and challenges to highway construction. After learning about the local geological conditions, some construction companies in Western countries and European countries turned their heads and left. Obviously, this is a very difficult project. Along with the difficult construction environment, Algeria has continuously put forward various demanding requirements to ensure the normal construction of the highway. Some countries began to withdraw from the competition. In the end, two Asian countries, China and Japan, won the east to west project of this highway. The cost of the middle and west sections won by China reached 6.2 billion US dollars, equivalent to more than 40 billion yuan, making it the largest overseas construction project in China. The eastern part was constructed by Japan. After the project was taken over, it was just the beginning and the real difficulties were yet to come. How to build more than 40 billion projects? How to build to meet the requirements of the other party? After China undertook this project, the difficulty of construction was far greater than imagined. Usually according to different heights, the filling of road construction is divided into low filling, high filling and super high filling. In China, the fill height greater than 18 m or the fill height greater than 20 m is generally called high fill. In Europe, the fill less than 5 m is classified as low fill, the fill height less than 10 m is classified as high fill, and the fill height greater than 10 m is classified as super high fill. In the construction of the Algeria East to West Highway project, the super high filling construction with a height of 44.7 meters has set a record for the filling of Algeria's highways. At such a height, the risk of instability and settlement is prone to occur, and the higher the height, the greater the risk. The other is the filler. Although there are more than 20 borrow pits along the whole line, they are all mixed with marl. Rocks of this nature are called the engineer's disaster by the engineering community. 
When the wind blows, it turns into muck, and when it meets water, it turns into mud. With 13.5 million cubic meters of filling, the filling has become a fierce stumbling block. In order to solve this obstacle, Chinese engineers first stabilized the toe of the fill slope, organized construction scientifically, and worked hard to research and develop special materials and construction methods. During the construction process, Chinese engineers also introduced the commonly used roadbed compaction equipment, plum blossom rammer, which finally achieved very good results. This also fully and perfectly integrated Chinese technology and European standards. During the road construction process, various geological disasters encountered overwhelmed the on-site personnel, and more than 80 side slope landslides and hidden dangers of landslides were discovered along the entire project line. A landslide is a large area of the mountain that slides down as a whole, and a landslide is a sudden fall of stones on the mountain. As early as 2010, when other foreign companies were building this section of the road, a large-scale landslide occurred, and the completed roadbed was completely buried by the landslide. Because of underestimating the difficulty of moral geological construction, these enterprises eventually failed. After the start of construction in China, the traditional drainage gravity overlay was optimized as a drainage layer and gravity overlay scheme based on previous domestic experience, and the Chinese scheme was rechecked using the European Standard Calculation Model. The plan was highly recognized by the owners and supervisors, and the landslide treatment project, which had been stagnant for two years, was restarted. In addition to the above-mentioned problems, Chinese engineers also introduced high-modulus asphalt concrete and developed high-modulus asphalt mixture admixtures, which greatly extended the average service life of the road surface. These are the tip of the iceberg of the promotion and application of Chinese road construction technology overseas. During the construction process, Chinese engineers also innovated a complete set of technology for the design and construction of large section tunnels in extremely soft rock based on the European Standard Bridge General Design Drawings, Route and Bridge Design Calculation Series software. The engineering team absorbed the European design concept of shock absorption and isolation, developed a new type of bridge shock absorption and isolation device, and successfully realized the overseas export of Chinese technology and products. In addition, the team has also developed high modulus asphalt mixture admixtures, road asphalt leveling devices, super large particle size filling technology in flooded areas and reinforcement of plain piles on the back of bridges. The Chinese engineering team has continuously digested technology, strengthened exploration and innovation, and has obtained a number of invention patents. Chinese engineers attached great importance to and continued to pay attention to environmental protection in engineering construction, in every link of system establishment, material selection, technological innovation, etc. The possible impact on the environment was strictly evaluated. On this basis, green plants consistent with the local ecosystem were selected and sedimentation tanks, animal passages, etc. were set up. China Construction Corporation also cooperated with three local companies to promote China's advanced construction management methods. By learning construction methods from each other and exchanging experience, which has injected new vitality into the development of local enterprises and promoted the progress of the local construction industry. After the completion of the project, China also launched related supporting projects and training work to provide long-term protection for this road, in an all-round way from project design, construction and maintenance. 
After the completion of the project, Algerian officials saw the road and laughed from ear to ear. The local people are also smiling. The opening of this highway will inject new vitality into Algeria's economic development. After the completion of the project, it also shocked the infrastructure teams in Europe, America, and other countries. What they didn't expect was that China would build such a high-quality expressway in such a short period of time. Through the Algeria East to West Highway project, the strength of China infrastructure has been recognized, demonstrating the China speed, laying a solid foundation for Chinese-funded enterprises to undertake projects in Africa, creating a world-class business card for China infrastructure and successfully implementing going-out strategy. Since then, China's infrastructure has officially stepped onto the international stage and many countries are willing to trust China's infrastructure, and the title of China's infrastructure fanatic has since spread more and more widely. It can be said that China's achievements are the original Chinese team with their excellent technical level and not afraid of the harsh environment, and various resistance of the strong exchange. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.